everybody before we get into the second update of this morning session we've already covered xrp so if you're interested in the xrp technical analysis make sure you check the my youtube channel and look for this morning's update right at a very in-depth analysis of xrp and also the news surrounding it but this morning i wanted to do a second update here as i want to cover bitcoin not just the bitcoin chart but the fact that two billion dollars in bitcoin was purchased the last two weeks by whales since the etf um, news came out and not just that celsius has gotten the approval to convert altcoins into bitcoin and or ethereum so i'm going to give you the news on both of these things is that could really trigger bitcoin for a push up to thirty-five thousand. we've been talking about the fact that bitcoin if it doesn't lose thirty thousand at the channel breakout that we and it's also over the cme gap that we're looking at the next target 32,800 approximately and then 33,900 and some change area. You break that then you have 35,000 on your way up to between 38 and 40,000. This is a this is an interesting situation developing because Bitcoin held that 30,000 support so perfectly, even came through on a liquidity grab down to about 29,600 held the four or the um the 20 day support and the 4 hourly beautifully came back over in the daily it was just a wick and now we're actually at about 30,600 and some change so we're going to take a look at bitcoin and see what the potential here is for bitcoin to have a massive move up at least another 4,500 points in the short term and then see if this pattern can actually start pushing up here see if there is a rejection point at 31,000 is this all just for nothing and are these whales buying in some of this more fluff or is there some sense or some substance here? Sometimes when you can get together everything and you can look at it from an emotionless standpoint and have the positivity, that's why we say positivity over negativity, and we'll let the charts dictate our perception of where we think the price is gonna go, not our personal emotion. So right now with Bitcoin, we're gonna take the charts, we're gonna take the formation setups, and we're also gonna take a couple articles that I decided to choose for us so that we can look at some of the information and get a more detailed understanding of not only where bitcoin's going to go but where altcoins can also go remember when bitcoin's dominance is over 50 percent or 50 percent of the money is in bitcoin that usually signifies a pump for bitcoin and altcoins don't necessarily do so well oftentimes though this is misleading because bitcoin can be front loaded and then the altcoins several weeks later start to push up slowly but surely so make sure you pay attention to this hit that like button it'll help greatly push me through the analytics and I just want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in on this Saturday morning with me. I have commit, um, I feel I'm here amongst my friends. And to me, that feeling doesn't get any better. Um, so we're going to do this in a together fashion. There's enough division in the world. We do this unified in this community. So for that, I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember on this weekend, give thanks to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good morning, 11.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, July 1st, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, if you're looking for the XRP technical analysis, I've already done an update this morning about an hour and a half ago. Make sure you take a look at that after you watch this, just so you can get on the same page with XRP and also the news that's been breaking over the last couple days, just so you can stay on the same page. So, Bitcoin. I want to read this first and we'll get into the technical analysis on Bitcoin and then, then we'll end with the Celsius network approved to convert altcoins into Bitcoin or Ethereum. So the liquidation will pave the way for distribution of the funds to creditors in the near future. So we're going to pay attention to that. We'll take a look after we read this. We'll take a look at the Bitcoin chart and then we'll end on the Celsius network uh, news. So Bitcoin whales invest $2 billion in two weeks, all eyes on 35000 And this is just a very short read. So... Having sealed off the first half of 2023 around the 30,500 mark, Bitcoin 
now boasts a commendable year-to-date increase of 85% illustrating its strong momentum. A price-savvy whale cohort had bought $1.83 billion worth of Bitcoin since BlackRock filed for Bitcoin ETF application on June 15th. Weighted sentiment shows that despite the recent price gains, the social perception surrounding Bitcoin is far from euphoria. Bitcoin's price closed June at 30500 bringing its year-to-date Gains to 85% after outperforming the S&P 500 by nearly 70%. Institutional investors now appear to be taking long positions on Bitcoin. The question is, is will Bitcoin make more gains in second half of 2023? After scoring 85% gains in uh, the first half of 2023, uh, bullish Bitcoin whales now set their sights firmly on the 35,000 milestone. Nevertheless, social sentiment surrounding Bitcoin is so negative due to the SEC knocking back NASDAQ and SIBO markets, Bitcoin ETF applications for incomprehensive documentation. Could these recent market developments catapult Bitcoin toward 35,000 in the coming weeks? Um, and what I like to look at is the institutional investors. So institutional investors are taking long positions on Bitcoin. The growing interest in Bitcoin derivatives among institutional investors, investors has begun to evolve and increase demand for Bitcoin. According to on-chain data, a price-savvy cohort of whales holding balances of 1,000 to 10,000 Bitcoin began to buy Bitcoin around June 15th. Interestingly, this coincides with the date BlackRock first announced its Bitcoin ETF filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. So when you pay attention to that, the institutional investors are starting to sense a little bit of blood in the water and they're starting to eat some of the scraps up now, especially because they know it's on the horizon with the ETF. Looking at the chart below, the whales gradually made a hefty purchase of 60,000 Bitcoin in the second half of June 2023. With Bitcoin currently sitting at 30,500, the whales have invested approximately 1.83 billion since BlackRock filed for a Bitcoin ETF application. If the SEC approves the application it received in June, Bitcoin could witness increased whale demand in the coming weeks. So that's very interesting to me. And I think that's something to pay attention and of note. So I wanted to do this standalone update with Bitcoin because I think it's important for me to start doing updates with Bitcoin by itself so that I can put all the information in instead of just sneaking in Bitcoin because it is a major, major, you know, thing that we have to pay attention to here until XRP actually decouples from Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market, which we'll still pay attention to Bitcoin because it is the market runner and over 50% of the amount of money in the total crypto market cap or the total amount of money put into crypto is in Bitcoin right now. So as we can see right here, we've got this cup and handle formation we have drawn out. As long as we hold the CME gap at 30,000 and the break out of the channel, this should push us up to 35,000. Now we have two layers that could stop us. First though, we have to break and hold 31,000. I cannot stress that enough. Because if you lose 30,000 before you break 31,000, now confirm losing 30,000. A lot of people mess it up because you break 30,000, it went down to 29,600. They think that constitutes a breach. It does not. You must have the validation on the breach. Otherwise, it's just a quick wick down. It's a nice way to distribute some of the shorts, or I mean the longs that end the position and have some people sell out thinking we're dumping. Just have that added liquidity to push up. Right now, Bitcoin's job is to get over 31,000 and hold it. Then you make the move up to the next level at 32,800 followed by 33,938 on your way to 35,000 as that is a firm target up here at the top. And then if you get on top of 35,000, then you can start making your push where we've talked about for some time up to the 38,000 and 40,000 area, which is on our other chart. But that's the, that's where we're at right now, folks. And as you can see, we had a breakout of the descending triangle. So we had a breakout downtrending resistance, downtrending support constitutes a short-term descending triangle. We broke out of that and we were in this formation before we created the descending triangle. We were just in a channel. It was somewhat of a small rising channel. But by the time we worked over here, we broke down out of it, used it as resistance to the channel and created a descending triangle. Then we broke out of the descending triangle, broke back into the channel very volatilely and spiked right over it to the 30,000. Held that as support, fell under it one time to 29,600, held the 20 day support in the higher time frames in the four hourly and bounced right back above it, proving it was just a wick in the daily. And I can show you exactly what I mean by that. So in the daily time frame, when we came down, see this? It was a wick. The next uh, candle body started way up here, and this is actually a nice looking body if it continues to push up. 
as we haven't given back any of the support yet in this entire daily candle and it's been going on since eight o'clock last night and this looks like a massive bull flag and honestly you don't have to take my word for it where the technical targets are but we'll measure the bull flag on the way up and we won't even go all the way to the top we'll just go to right here or we'll come down from the break point and we'll just give you a small demonstration here let's just say it breaks out on 31 actually i'm going with the breakout at 31,000. so we will judge this from a breakout at 31k and you can see how that would bring you up over 35,000 here but if we do the breakout from a 30,000 hold it gets you right to 35,000 on the nose so that's what i'm saying that technical target on this breakout of the bull flag is right at where i measured that 35,054. if it uses 30,000, and the channel breakout as that actual line of support that is where we'll find ourselves with bitcoin and then in the coming days the weeks if we get on top of that we could find ourselves at 38 to 40k but that's the upward trajectory now let's say we break down get rejected by the 30,000 channel you see how perfect that lines up you come right back down to 25,194. And that would actually come right back down into the descending triangle formation. So pay attention to this. Those are your two options. And now real quickly, I want to read this article because this is getting a little lengthy. So the Celsius network approved to convert all coins into Bitcoin or Ethereum. The liquidation will pave way for the distribution of the funds to creditors in the near future. I'm going to read, or I'm not going to have to read this. I'm going to actually play this. It's a two minute and 33 second audio. If you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, Femex in the video description below and or pinned comments. It's a new way for us in the USA that we can actually use. And then if you're looking to uh, leverage trade or futures trade, you can do it up to 100X. And you don't have to do KYC either, which is actually a nice thing. And I actually sent XRP from another exchange. So if you're in the USA and you're struggling to find another place besides Uphold, we've got Femex and it's in the video description below and or pinned comments. So you can look there. And if you want to show me some support by joining Tom's Army, that's also in the video description below and pinned comment. So I'm going to play this and then I'm going to let you go. Celsius Network approved to convert all coins into BTC or ETH. The bankruptcy court has approved bankrupt crypto lender. Celsius Network's plan to convert all non-Bitcoin and non-Ethereum altcoins into Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, digital currencies. The new verdict in relation to the platform's bankruptcy proceedings was pronounced by Judge Martin Glenn of the Southern District of New York and the liquidations will pave the way for the distribution of the funds to creditors in the near future. Following discussions between Celsius Network handlers and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, the proposal has been officially approved. As per the bankruptcy judge's ruling, the troubled lender is authorized to sell or convert any cryptocurrency assets excluding tokens associated with withhold or custody accounts into btc or eth starting from july 1st 2023 celsius network which faced bankruptcy last year following the collapse of terraform labs and its associated tokens terra luna and terra usd usd has left creditors waiting for resolution Despite the bankruptcy filing months ago, the recent verdict has introduced new possibilities and extended the proceedings. Screenshot of approved order regarding conversion of all coins. Source, Strato. Amid recent SEC crackdowns on various altcoins, which the regulator has classified as securities, the decision to convert altcoins into BTC and ETH has emerged. Notable altcoins labeled as securities by the SEC include Cardano, ADA, Solana, SOL, and Polygon, Matic. Despite the ongoing presence of creditors, Celsius Network has undergone a change in ownership since its sale to the crypto consortium Fahrenheit was officially approved in May 2023. As a result, the network now operates under the stewardship of its new owners. Related, Celsius creditors allege Wintermute facilitated wash trading, report. The recently revealed owners have announced their intention to develop a revised bankruptcy plan. Okay, so you got the idea there. So basically what I wanted to show you there is that Celsius now can put in altcoins into either um, Bitcoin or Ethereum starting today. So pay attention to that as that could contribute to a price spike in Bitcoin and also another tanking job simultaneously by some of the altcoins. So just pay very, very close attention.